So right now, it's not even so much of like a external war. It's none of that right now, to be honest with y'all. It's really a war of the mental, the mind. If you notice, there's like a uh, an occurrence with everybody you meet. Like everybody you see on a day-to-day -day basis, majority of them is miserable. I mean, miserable. I go and purchase, you know, some water from the store. They miserable. They take their sweet time, very inconsiderate, rude, beyond measure, very just sarcastic. And not, I'm not complaining. I'm just like, I'm spending money. I'm spending money. At least put a smile on my face. Like, damn. Like, I want to know that my money went to good use. Like, please, somebody. I want to know that my money went to good use. That's it. Like, can I get an eight, you know, like something right there? Like, I don't even try to get religious, but damn. You know? And it don't make no sense when you go and spend your money and you come out like, damn, you feel like you've been like cheap shotty. Like, I've been like stabbed in the back. I'm just saying. Like, can I at least, you know, feel good about spending my money? But I just had to just really come out and say, it's because it's a war of the mental. So it has nothing to do with the news and what's going on in the media. I know it's hard to even fathom that, but I'm trying to tell you, think on like a massive scale. Think, don't think in a box, okay? What it is it that they pay the most for? Information. And do you know why they pay the most for information? It's because information is the most high prized asset. It literally makes you either successful or impoverished, meaning that you can choose to be wealthy. Like it's a choice. Wealth is a choice, or you could choose to be impoverished. Impoverished is a choice. It's a state of the mind. It's like you're you're trapped within your own self of your own self. It's a box. Literally, it's a box. Four lines, you know, and it's inorganic. Meaning we're not supposed to think like that. So what I'm trying to say is, I ain't trying to linger on about it, but I'm trying to touch base on that majority of people are miserable because they're locked in this box. And the vibration is changing the planet. Like you notice like it's forcing you to go within so that way you can come out. So you're finding yourself in like moments of solitude. You're finding yourself bored out your mind. You're finding yourself going through emotions, mixed signals. You find yourself uh, questioning yourself and what you do and constantly um, having to like, you know, rethink your choices or change your next move constantly. Like you're finding yourself switching up on how you used to be. And do you know why that? Do you know why that? It's because the vibrations are changing and things are trying to interfere with your mindset. So stay away from EMP pulses, stay away from radio waves, stay away from uh, telephone lines, uh, Wi-Fi lines, 5G lines, that shit literally makes the effects of this a thousand times worse. That's all I'm gonna touch base about that. Cause those are some big corporations, I'm saying. Notice how they're putting up them G, those, those G towers everywhere you are. That attacks your brain. It's literally like you're nothing but pure, well, it's supposed to be pure energy, right? Now these are like inorganic waves that's constantly bombarding your force field and trying to break you down so that way you can never build up. But this is some important shit. You really don't want to sleep on this. It's very important. So don't sleep with the phone by you. Put them in these little boxes like aluminum foil. Try to make yourself something. Try to put it in something to contain the waves. Don't keep it in your pocket on you all the time. Uh, just try to like cut your time with these phones as short as possible. And then social media, that platform, if you're in a suicidal state, do not go on social media. Social media is only for the ones who have a strong will. There's gonna be some things on there that is gonna try to attack your your uh, force field. I'll just leave it like that. And it attacks you through like fears, insecurities, things that it know that it can get down or or uh, affect you the most. So it's always different from each cell phone or each person to person. So no two people are exactly the same. That's what you guys need to understand too. Like I have to find myself taking breaks from social media, like breaks where I'll just post something and I won't look at this shit for days. I won't look at nothing. Because what it is is that it makes you go into a state of depression. It pulls your life force, it exerts you, it depletes you and drains you, yeah? Yeah, I know it's gonna be the same thing, but yeah, it drains you, it drains your auric field. It's a little solar, you know, so it, um, yeah, it just attacks you, bro. 
So I was finding spending like very minimum amount of time on there right now is very crucial because right now your brain is going through an evolution. But if it's if it's affected while it's going through this transmission, if you let it affect you, then it could like it could set you backwards, and you don't want that. So awareness is key. Awareness is key. That's why I said knowledge is key because awareness. You can't be aware without knowledge. You, you know what I'm saying? Those two just don't go hand in hand together. I mean, those two go hand in hand together. You can't have one without the other. So I'm saying awareness is so important, but you got to have some sort of some base of knowledge to, in order to get that awareness. So if you find yourself feeling like, you know, down and out or thinking about the shift, it's because the shift is amplifying your vibratory field, which is making your manifestation happen, which is making you have to go through the dark night of the soul, which means solitude, which means overthinking, which means mixed emotions, which means you questioning yourself. All this stuff adds up because that and a lot more. I just won't go into detail about it. I try to be brief, but you ain't going and out the way. I don't try to like linger on too much about a certain subject because not everybody got the attention span to sit down and listen to it. So I keep my shit quick, fast, do, 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 plant that seed. It's up to you to water it and grow it and let that shit flourish and um, sprout in your head. If not, hey, bro, it wasn't for you. So if you're watching the video up to this end or this point of the video, then you are meant for this. You're a chosen one and you are literally, you are, bro, what's it called? You are changing reality. You are that one. You are the motherfucker that's choosing to rewrite your own story. It's a matter of that. You're not following the story that was rewritten by somebody else that doesn't benefit you or your offspring. You're choosing to write your own. And you know how you do that is belief and knowing that the universe got your back. I'm saying, because when you up against the realm, when you really need it, that's when it's going to answer. That's when it's going to come through and not a moment sooner. So nobody know the time and day. This is just a test right now. Pass this test. This is only a test. Just know it's feeling like this because you're reaching a pinnacle point in your life. You're about to pass a major test. Notice every exam. You got to study for the test. You got to be put on spot and then you got to pass the test. And right now people are going through the last day so they could either have to come back to this or have to redo the whole class again or they could pass the test. It's either or.